Looking at several different chats while you're multi-streaming is difficult, but what if I told you there is a free, and I'll say it one more time for the people in the back, free solution that you can download right now and solve this to have TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Kick, uh, and I'll say that again, TikTok combined as well. Let's get into this video. Did I say it was free? I totally said it was free. What you're looking at right now is social stream. And this is just a GitHub page where you're able to get all of the information and install it. It started out as a browser extension for Chrome and you can still use it that way. You can install it. There's a whole bunch of things and all of its full features are still in the Chrome based extension, which I think you can use on some other platforms. Anyway, all of that is here. However, uh, they've just recently made an app. And here it is. This is social streams. And it's so easy to use that all you do is add your platforms, click a button, and then it's ready to go. That's it, literally. Let me show you this platform. Just FYI, I'm gonna leave the links for the actual application, which you can get for Linux, Windows, as well as Mac. I'll leave that down in the description. I am using the latest update from June 2nd, 2024, which is version 1.30. And I'll leave the link for the actual Chrome extension version if you want that. So what you're looking at right now is social stream. And you can see I've added my YouTube channel and it was very simple. Here's how you do it. I'll add my Twitch back. Once I click this, it'll say enter your Twitch name, Darkened Cyrus. I click OK, and guess what? It's there. Done, easy, simple, boom. Now, how do we make this work and how customizable is this? Well, let me just tell you, there are more customizations on this than I ever anticipated, even to the point where it will beep you, like make a little audible beep and you can customize that sound, by the way, so that you know when a new message has come in. And if you're really fancy with how you do your audio, you totally could tune it to where only you hear it and not your chat. Anyway, looking at this, it was so easy. We can even add TikTok. What, how do I do it? I just say, what is my actual at for that platform? Let's do Facebook. This is, it's, it's getting, it's getting really hard now, guys. Uh, let's do kick. It's not hard to continue to add these depending on what you're there. So I've zoomed out so you can see this, but what you see is every one of these say activate source. Now, if I click activate source, let's do Twitch. Uh, you can see that it pops up my chat right here, which is really cool. It's went ahead and activated and it's watching it. You can minimize or you can close it, but it is actively watching this right now. I'm just gonna minimize it. And I'm gonna do the same thing for here's kick. Guess what? It pulled my kick chat. I'll do Facebook. Guess what? It says see more on Facebook, but if I hit X, it's pulled up my page. I can do the same thing for TikTok. Once this pops up, it'll pull up my TikTok page. Cool, done, I'll minimize it. And then the same thing for YouTube. I'm not live right now, so that's why it says chat is disabled for the stream, but when I do go live, it will pop up. And guess what? All of them will be combined. Now let me show you the cool stuff. This is called a coaster. You put your drink on it. Whoa, wait! Mm -hmm. what? This is a square! It is. Can you show the camera what it looks like? Looks like a square. Yeah. Do you have anything you want to say to my friends? The square is the four sides. Yes, it does have four sides. What and letters do you see on there, by the way? Uh, C's. And? C's. C's. You don't see DC? 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 <laughs> I think it's CC. Oh, okay. Tell me, can you tell me something? What do you want to go eat? You want to go eat Zaxby's? Okay, what do you want to eat from Zaxby's? Chicken and pizza and fries. Okay, all right. Go put some clothes on, and Wait. I'll be downstairs. We'll go ahead and go get be some fries. Okay, I'll be leave it right there, okay? The okay, we'll leave it right there. I guess we're going to go eat Zaxby's, guys. Let's finish this tutorial then. There are so many options with this and there's the actual dockable panel. You can totally just take this URL and put it into your browser source to be able to use it on stream. And yes, you can make it transparent by clicking overlay and then this red circle force transparent. And basically all it does is just update this URL. The one thing you need to know is if you do turn something on, you have to switch out the URL because it adds those to the end of the URL. That's the one thing that's kind of weird. Just know that. Um, also, I didn't mention you need to turn on extension active so that people 
people can actually see the things here and you can see it. So what I'm gonna do is when I click this, it's just gonna open this up and here is the window. So here is the chat. Obviously no one's chatting because I'm not live, but you can trigger a fake text message or test message and you'll see that they'll pop up. And I have it on magnify the view because I am getting older and I need the larger font on my other screen, uh, which is fine. And you can see this is how things would pop through. They have, they show the icon at the front. They even have Slack support. Look at that. Uh, they'll show the icon of the actual person, the name, and then the message. You can totally customize all of this under visibility. You can actually hide the sources of where things come from. You can hide and blur messages. You can show the channel icon. You can hide avatars. There's so much that you can customize with this. You can do the font. You can actually make links not work. You can also do everything from making it do text to speech every single message or ones that you consider are priority, which you can just click a message and that becomes a priority message that it would go ahead and pop through. There's so many things you can do in here too. You can right click it, see the history, you can pin it, you can make a specific one do text to speech, you can delete the message, you can block a user, etc., so on and so forth, all from one browser source. Now I'm not going to go through all these settings because I'm sure that you're going to be able to customize this exactly the way that you want it. Uh, but there is other things like featured chat overlays, emotes walls, there's height meters, wait lists, graphic polls, ticker, battle royale. There is literally an infinite amount of customization with this. Go make sure you tag me on Twitter when you have something really cool. I want to be able to see it. So what you're currently looking at is Streamlabs desktop. And this is where I've actually been doing a lot of my streaming lately, just because I love the uh, dual output stuff that you have from here. I really think that it's really intuitive. And one of the things that I'm enjoying about it is the just clean way of being able to do it without having to use something like Atom Vertical Plugin. Anyway, this is here, but what you can see is inside of Streamlabs, you actually can do a website. So you can actually dock a browser and that's what I've done. I've actually taken the URL from this and put it over here so that when I go into my overlay, and as you can see, I'm right here. I'll click this. If I trigger a fake message, Look what's popping up. And now inside Streamlabs desktop, I have a combined thing. You can do the same thing inside OBS by doing a custom browser dock and then just being able to put the link there and just docking it on the side. The same exact thing, but you can do this inside Streamlabs OBS. You could do it in Prism. You could do it in OBS, whatever the case. And this is how I've been streaming and then being able to pop up all my chat and see it. Now, again, you can totally just copy and paste this and put it in as a source and trigger it as transparent. So know that there are more options than just one thing. Now I've got to go feed my kids some Zaxby's and by the way, just comment down below. Do you like Zaxby's or not? Or do you even have a Zaxby's near you? It's kind of crazy. In a world where streaming can be so difficult and so easy at the same time, being able to manage all of that, be a production person, also understand how to do the camera, lighting, microphone, all of that. Using tools like this to simplify and make things in one nice little neat space is so cool and it's free. Thank you to, to developers who are making stuff like this. And if you know of another really cool thing like this, let me know down in the comments, tag me on Twitter, uh, how you're using this. I'd love to be able to stop by your streams and yeah, thank you so much guys. Hey, make sure you go pick out my free OBS course on my website, darkensiris.live and uh, check out one of these two videos. Thank you so much. Really hope you enjoyed this video and y'all have a great day. Thanks everyone.